our brands, Dyson and Shark, and one of my favorites, the Scott Brothers. Everybody's talking about those brands because they're so big and everybody loves them. Some, something else that I think everybody will love is $100,000. We have this incredible sweepstakes going on. Now, sadly, Jennifer, <laughs> you know you and I can't <laughs> enter this thing. Uh, but you can at home. QVC yeah, I, I viewers. know. What's that about? What's I know. That? It's not fair. <laughs> HSN viewers as well. Check out hsn.com and qbc.com all the way through to March 11th. Well, Jennifer, it is a pleasure to see Perfect, you. Adam. Have a wonderful night. Our pleasure. You too. Bye-bye. Oh. Well, it, um, it really is a joy to be able to welcome on in some new family members, QVC viewers, and of course you, our HSN viewers. The time has come. The moment has arrived. Welcome to our Best Buy of the Day. Thulite is so special. This only comes from one known location in the entire world. And that location is on a farm in Norway where they actually have to go through a swamp to, to get to it. And we get it out by hand. That makes the material even more unique. What makes Sharite so special is it has this property which is called chatoyancy. The best way to describe chatoyancy, it's like Mother Nature's natural bling, okay? So it's got a natural crystalline structure in it. So it naturally sparkles and glows and gleams. Just a handful of materials in the world that actually have this property. My heart's beating a little bit fast. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna showcase and tell you and just immerse ourselves in the most magnificent stories. The world launch of the incredible Thulite from Norway and the return of Purple Sharite, the first time back in many, many years. You are looking at a reversible bracelet. One side, spectacular Thulite or Sharite, and on the other side, the most incredible turquoise. At right out of the gate, I wanna tell you about the bonus buy opportunity. We already have 200 orders confirmed. I want to stress, we will be probably at 80% to 90% sold out by 2 a.m. If you order the Today's Special, you can get $20 off an additional Today's Special. So if you're like me and not good at making decisions, do you want the Sharite or the, uh, the Thulite, you can buy both and get $20 off the, uh, the other version. They are reversible, one side and then the other side. Now we have over five, no, forgive me, 600 people placing orders. This is an incredible launch and something I know, Jay, your fans have waited a long time for. The last thing I'll say, because we'll, we'll talk about it, but please shop while we are, because we are already now 10% sold out. Um, small medium is for a five and a half to six inch wrist, and the medium large is for a six and a half to seven inch wrist. Jay, I can see that sparkle in your eye. This yeah. is a big deal. Well, it, it is a huge deal. And also, it's just on the sizing, so everybody understands, okay, if you've got a small wrist, like a, a petite wrist, go with a small medium. If you have a wrist my size, and I, um, you know, they give you that thing, but I wear over an eight inch, and I still have room. What's great with these is these are custom made, okay? We, we design, came up with this design. Um, you, so you've got, it's reversible. It is actually functionally reversible. What's so exciting, what makes my day, which is, and this just shows everybody really how this works. Last year, okay, at the Tucson Gem event, the year before, so two years ago, okay, we um, met uh, uh, the miner of the Thulite. And he had just a couple of pieces and that's it. The next year, we knew that he was gonna be mining. We came in two weeks before anybody, the show even opened. <laughs> it takes these guys, you know, they don't set up in a day. Right. It takes them forever, because they have to unload the containers, everything. 
So when everybody, they show open and they got there, there was a big sold sign on the food <laughs> light. We got every bit of it. This year, what we did, it, when you came to Tucson, uh, and they filmed it. He had maybe just a few, very few pieces on a pallet that uh, for specimens to show. But the reason he didn't have any rough is because we had already bought it before the show even opened up. It didn't even make it out of the country. It came from Norway directly to our cutting shop, right? Uh, we so we are you know we're that far ahead on it. This is a world launch of this material. Okay, the Thulite is it's the Nor Norwegian. Um, it's th their their national oh my stone. Gosh. Okay. And then we have Russian charite. The same thing on this, you know, anybody who's shopped with us for any time, right, knows that Connie, Connie Craig, yeah. the conster, I call her, okay, <laughs> um, over 15 years ago, Connie and I uh, uh, launched charite. I don't, what, as far as I know, and I say that, and quickly, as far as I know, we were the very first people to ever, ever uh, show Charite. We, it was a world launch. Connie and I had it for about three years. And every time we would bring it on, we sold out. We never, never did not sell out. Just like so many materials in my past and what's happened is this is not a renewable resource, right? right? And um, uh, there's still Charite around, but it wasn't the A, triple A, double A, A grade material. It was B, C, D, E, F, and beyond, right? And so we, we just got out of it because it wasn't the quality that, that we will put in our jewelry. Um, about three years ago, uh, same thing, Tucson Gem Show, um, I met um, the, uh, well, actually, I don't want to take credit for her. one of the people that works with me. She, she went in and she found, and, and she found Andre and Andre is a physicist by trade, right? But he is in the stone business now and he's from Russia and, uh, for, he had a specimen of triple A grade charite. We bought that. So we were able to make a few rings. They sold out and everything last year in Tucson, same as the Thulite we were able to make a major purchase of sh Russian charite, all triple A, double A grade, not even A grade, triple A and double A grade charite. This is so rare, so unique. Now, it's not because they found a new mine, a new deposit. Right. You're buying material that was mined 15 years ago, minimum, okay, maybe even 20 years ago. And because of Andre's connection, he is Russian, and he has, uh, he had, connections in Russia, and so he found, um, or through the family and whatever, he found the original miners. And so, you know, um, I come on my mom's side, I come from a mining family, and I guarantee you when miners mine stuff and they keep it, they don't keep the bad quality. <laughs> <laughs> miners are funny because for them, they, that's their, that's their saving, that's right, their retirement right, right. account. It goes in turquoise, it goes in specimens, <laughs> everything. One for me, two for you. I well, two for me. Yeah, they always, they always cherry pick and they keep the <laughs> right. best stuff back. And that's what actually happened here. So I'm so excited. Both of these, the reason we're launching them now, and I'm so excited about launching them, these were both found, th this is coming from Tucson last year. So think about it, it's been one year for you to, to actually for us to develop a product and bring it to you. Well, Jay, I have some news for you, and um, uh, this is exciting to reveal it. It's good news, hopefully. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'll, I'll get don't, to the point Don't give me any bad news, <laughs> give it to me later. Give it to me later. <laughs> I'm on a roll. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I have great news. <laughs> Guys, we are now approaching 30% completely sold out. So we are seven minutes into the day, and we are already more than double where we expected to be. So I want, and let me tell you, the purple, the purple Charite will be the first to sell out by far. They're both incredibly popular, but we had much less of the purple. So if this is the one you want, you must be dialing right now. Uh, I would like a an update if possible from our amazing producer Allison. The earrings, we only had 500 of each. How many are now left, Allison, in the earrings? 
Okay, so if you're wanting the earrings, these are one of our Tucson Gem Discoveries. They're $89 on five flex pay. These will seemingly be sold out either in the next 10 minutes or by the end of the next hour. The one that I hope you would consider tonight is the reversible ring, because I think this is spectacular. The reversible ring is $79, all stamped 925 sterling silver. It reverses from either your Thulite or of course the purple Sharite, which I have here, to the most amazing turquoise. Sizing all the way from five through 12 are available. The one thing that I don't think I made too clear at the beginning, and forgive me, let me do it now. If you cannot decide, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, obviously. If you cannot decide between the purple Sharite or the world launch Thulite, we will give you, is it $10 off or $20 off? I've forgotten. You, $20 off. So you could buy the other color of bracelet and get $20 off the price. So now we're in, 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 in crazy territory. I mean, that's, that's $119 for the second one. So if you can't decide, get both. And of course, remember, both reverse to the turquoise. Now let's, if we can, Jay, talk about the amazing Thulite, because this is this has never been seen before on television. This, this is the world launch of Thulite, okay? And let me tell you something, okay? This is a picture, this is actually a mine. There's the helicopter, there, there's where they mine. They, they walk through a swamp, this is on a farm. They, they walk through a swamp, there's Christian. Wow. He's, he's the miner, he's showing the rough. Okay, they, they have, to, have to walk in, it's, it's about a 20 mile hike, in, in you, was, you saw they were wearing rubber boots. Yeah. That's because they walked through a swamp, a swamp to get there. Because of the, it's in the middle of a swamp there's, and it's on the high ground, there's no way to, to actually get equipment like um, um, any kind of tractor or anything in there, any kind of backhoe, mm -hmm. any kind of track hoe. So they do that. You saw it's all done with a jackhammer. Um, these are gas jackhammers. Uh, they do it with jackhammer. They'll do it with uh, pry bars. Uh, they harvest it like that. They put it all together. They put it in a net bag. They bring that helicopter in, and the helicopter takes it out and takes it out to where they can actually get a vehicle to it. So just if you think about this. Now, here's the thing with Thulite. This is a gem version of Zozite, okay? So it's in the same family as Tanzanite. So it's the same family as Tanzanite. Really? So to speak to the rarities, and to be honest with you, um, Thulite is more rare than Tanzanite. And that's saying something, right. right? That's saying something. Now, you can find Thulite, like I've seen in uh, a museum in Austria. One time I saw some specimens. Uh, I have seen it in a museum in Australia where they had specimens. But they're just specimens, right? There, there's, there's no bulk. Uh, no, look. What's wonderful about these two, and then sure, we haven't yeah. talked about the closure on these. Yes, now, yes. we created this, we designed it. I don't know anybody else. This is completely handcrafted by us, hand, done from scratch. Um, what's great about these bracelets, and everybody will tell you this, is they are so wear friendly, okay? This is something you can flop on, flop off. It does. See, look, look at this. Look. They find each other. It's got two safety catches. So it's just like your grandfather used to wear a belt and suspenders. You're doubly, <laughs> you're doubly taken care of here. So what are you getting here? Okay, you're getting three unusual, amazing materials. This Russian charite, which is extremely rare. You're getting this through like world launch. Nobody's ever seen this. And I gotta tell you, last year when we bought this, you I actually was there when people, they didn't know that we were the ones that had bought all of the Thulite. Right. And you could have heard some of the comments that I heard. <laughs> and I, I can't repeat them on TV. Okay. <laughs> but let's just put it this way. A lot of people were, weren't happy. A lot of people were not happy campers <laughs> that somebody had bought all the Thulite. And they were there the first day just to buy the Thulite. And they couldn't understand why it was all gone. Right? The but only the secret is, is the one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we came in literally two weeks early last year. We spent three weeks there uh, this year uh, looking around but I got to tell you this is so exciting to actually if you could see this came it's like a big circle and it came around so Tucson last year same time now you're seeing the fruits of our labor look at this through light look at the it almost looks like ruby look at okay the charite, and that's why I brought different uh, charites. Okay, the rough materials, uh, so you Jay, can see. they're telling me small, medium. We have fewer than 600 left. Was that in the charite or the thulite? Forgive me. Fewer than 600 left in the 
Sharite. So if you want the Sharite, it is a last call there. Remember, small, medium, or medium, large. We are very, very, very busy. I, I cannot stress enough. We will probably be sold out of over 50, 60% of all the available quantity by the end of our presentation tonight. Uh, certainly, some choices will be gone in terms of the sizing and the color selection. The reversible ring is as popular as the today's special and is now down to sell out quantities and of course the earrings which go hand in hand forgive me jay you were talking about the rough well um no here here again you know and also on this sizing okay and uh, i'm going to say this and i'm going to get in a lot of trouble you watch uh -oh. i'm going to get some emails so i'm i'm going to say that adam told me to say this okay? i did i did <laughs> You know, you can, you know, if he gets kicked out, it's not a problem. Okay, so here's the deal. Okay, they always give us these measurements on that uh, for the wrist size. Right. Okay, it's really simple. Okay, it's very simple. Here's the thing. If you've got a wrist smaller than me, okay, smaller wrist, this, uh, the small, the, you want to go for the small medium. Okay. Okay? If you've got a wrist as big as mine or maybe even a little larger, when I put this on, the, the larger size, the medium large, I still have room. Okay. okay, so, and I've got a fairly big wrist. So just think about that. If you've got a larger wrist, go with a medium large. If you've got more of a petite wrist, go with the, with the small medium and you're gonna be happy. And again, what's really great is you're making one bite, but think about this, okay, how quick this is. With, you could, um, uh, somebody, you know, one of the viewers uh, told me one time, she goes, and especially with the rings, she goes, uh, uh, I remember she told me this story where she was wearing it one way and she was at a counter, at a jewelry counter, right. and they were selling her some jewelry. Right. And in just messing around, she flipped it over to the other side. Right. And it was that quick <laughs> that when the, the person came back, she actually said, weren't you wearing a turquoise? <laughs> and so, so it's actually, it's so user wear friendly. And again, this is our own personal custom design. I don't know anybody else that's even doing the silver work. But what's so unique and so different, you get this amazing, it's, I call it Andean ice. It's Andean blue, uh, amazing clear, clear blue turquoise. And then look at this. No matrix, okay, if you got anything, it's just maybe a little dot or something, but this is like clear, clear blue, this is all genuine, the natural color, Thulite, okay? World launch, no, nobody, go in, I dare you, go in a store and ask for <laughs> Thulite and see what you get. They just came on the market. Um, there, nobody else is using it, um, and again, it's the Jim Jim Burgess uh, version of um, Zoizite, which is the same family as you have tanzanite. So, thulite is even more rare. I will tell you, it's even rarer than tanzanite. There's less thulite on planet Earth than there is tanzanite, and there's not a lot of tanzanite wow. on, on planet Earth, right? So it's really something really amazing, very special. And again, they're natural, natural colors. So there's no two of these there's, that you can actually make identical. It's gonna be the same design, mm -hmm but they're all gonna be uniquely different in their own right. There's no way to actually make them matchy-matchy. Um, as you can see, we're about to hit 3,000 spoken for. The flex pay is there, and I, I, you know the 30-day the money back return is there. While I was listening to Jay, I was trying to figure out in my mind the best way to really position this, and the best way that I can think of is, for $139, I mean, you've got one bracelet, and for $139, you've got another bracelet. This is two bracelets. And it's not just like they're regular. I mean, this is spectacular quality. We are getting questions which is which. Let me make that really easy. The purple is purple sharite. The Thulite, which is the world launch, is this beautiful, deep, almost like a berry red. Um, that's our gem discovery. We have never seen that in HSN's 40-year history. So you'll be the first to see it and buy it from us. We're excited to do this. I mean, Jay, this is, I suppose, in essence, what you live for in this career, to, for these moments of discovery. And you know what? Um, it's really funny, but that's how shallow my life is. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, I want you to think about this, okay? I've been doing this for 40 years, 40 years. Do you know how exciting it is to go out and you know, every trip I go, there's nothing, there's nothing I'm gonna see right. that I haven't seen. Right. So when you find something like this, but here again, think about the process. This was a three-year process. So last year's when we bought the rough material, mm. 
The year before that, he literally had a handful, Christian literally had a handful of this material that they hadn't really launched it yet. And um, they were getting crazy money. I mean, you would think it was diamonds, you know? Right, right. They were just insane money because they just had a little bit. So we came in, we knew he was gonna mine it. We talked to him for a long time. Uh, we knew that it was coming to Tucson. We got there two weeks early. Before the show opened up, we went in and scooped it up. We yeah. bought it. Um, and so that was one year ago. One year ago. It took one year for us to bring it and show it to you. And I'm so excited. The same thing with the sh Russian Sharite. Now, 15 years ago, Connie and I launched it. You couldn't keep it. I mean, and then it just died. It went away. Now, you had all the lower grades, but it, it, this quality. And now, I will tell you this now. All this Sharite, it's not even A grade. Mm. All of this char rate that you're seeing in any of these designs is triple A, the highest grade char rate that money can buy, the highest grade on planet Earth, or double A. So we didn't even get any A grade. This is all triple A, double A material. Um, that's, and I say that, I hope you realize how impossible it is to do that, right? You, you just don't see this grade of char right. And, and, and right now, to tell you the truth, uh, it just because of the way Andre did this, and, and this isn't new mining. This this was mined. It's not like they found more sharite and they're mining it. This was a kind of a one-shot deal that they did. Uh, it's found in um, Siberia. It's named after the Russian River, the Shara River. That's where the sharite name comes from. It's, it's so it's 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 mined in. Um, uh, in Siber Siberia in the Ural Mountains. Wow. So there was only a, a small, uh, maybe like a three month window when they originally mined it. Same thing with this. They, they went up, they camped out, they mined the Sharite and they bring it down in uh, a helicopter. Wow. That's how they got it. But this is old stock that uh, when, when it's gone, uh, it's gone. So they're, they're again, it, it very quickly, you will never see Sharite again. And what about the turquoise that's being used? Because you can't, I mean, you can't ignore the fact this is beautiful quality. Okay, so here, see this five gallon paint bucket right, right there? Right. Okay, <laughs> and this is what I did. You see this material right there? Okay, that came from my private collection out of my warehouse in Albuquerque. Wow. Right? And why did that happen? Is because now you're at the largest, you're at the world largest rough and gym event in the world. Whoa. Right, right. Okay, I don't know how to express this. This is the largest event of its type in the world. How much of this turquoise, besides my bucket that I personally brought to Tucson for to film, because this <laughs> is gonna be, that was the only bucket of material at the Tucson Gem Show of this particular <laughs> turquoise. So it's, and that's what I tell everybody. It's not what you saw at Tucson, it's what you, you didn't, didn't see. see. Right. And you didn't see this turquoise because nobody's got it but us, okay? Now, it, I, don't have a, I don't have an exclusive on it, I'm not saying I do. But what we do is we go buy it, and this doesn't come out in tonnage. Right. The, we have somebody that goes, they high grade, um, and they don't even mine year round uh, because sometimes they got 12 feet of snow on top of the deposit, right. okay? So, th you know, they, they mine this a little bit at a time. I don't want to spoil it, but this is high, clear blue turquoise. But you don't even think about this. If you, you got the thulite, okay, you got the thulite or the sharite, you flip it over, you got this clear blue, um, you know, I call it Andean ice. You could call it, we call it Andean blue. Um, but it is some of the, the highest grade turquoise that I actually have in my private collection. I have done a lot of these launches. I do not remember a time when we are now near, nearly virtually sold out of the majority of what we had. If you would like yours, I encourage you to order this evening. We're approaching 4,000. Uh, how are we doing on the matching earrings? Okay, if you want the matching earrings, we are now down to the final few hundred in each option. They are on five flexible payments of $17.98. You've got the turquoise in there and you've got the thulite or sharite. So again, they're a perfect match no matter which way you're wearing and, it. And again, you know, I've designed these, okay, and I, I, you know, I'm trying to come up with new and different ideas. Look at that, isn't that amazing, oh. Kate? Well, Kate's amazing anyway, but in the, you know, but isn't that cool? And you can see, you can see them, you have motion, you know, and you see that look on your ear, see that pop of turquoise? It's almost like a beacon. Yeah. That, doesn't it just draw you yeah. in? And then you can see the mo uh, motion and the movement of the, of the natural thulite or the natural sharite.
It's Isn't that amazing? I love it. Anything that moves and that's bright, I'm like a fish, man. I'm all over it. <laughs> <laughs> what fish would you be? I got to tell you, man, I a bass, I'd be caught. <laughs> no, I wouldn't be very, I'd be on somebody's grill. I'd get caught. Because I got to tell you, just motion, just motion and color, man. You're I'm, in. I'm all You're about in. it, man. I'm all over it. <laughs> well, so is everybody else this evening. Again, $89.90, a uh, one and only time. Uh, I will tell you, by the time you wake up in the morning, there will be none of these remaining. So if you are the kind of person that likes matching sets, if you're the kind of person that likes to have the full complement of jewelry, the full suite of jewelry, this will be the one and only chance tonight in the midnight and 1 a.m. on call that you'll be able to get it. I want to show you the ring. The ring um, is, is uh, Jay on fire. Well, I suppose it's because you've created a beautiful, bold style, big style, okay. but again, you just flip it. You just, this is so functional, it's so easy. But if you look at the shank on this, how we designed it, it's actually, this is all custom. They're all individually handcrafted um, from, and th this is all done from sheet silver. So it's not just the material, it's, we, it's our silversmiths, it's our lapideros. These are all custom handcrafted, one at a time, from scratch. None of this is bought. The, there, it's not like we go out and we buy findings and, and then put these together. These are all individually hand done. If you look at the shank on this ring, it's square. Okay, and everybody always goes, what? <laughs> well, it's because the way this lays, but um, if you kind of look at your finger, if you, okay, I, I know that most people don't. I, usually when I fall down because I've stumbled, then I look at things and I go, wait a minute, my wrist isn't round, it's oval. My finger, if you look at your finger, it's, it's not... It's not round, right. it's not oval. It actually is kind of like an obligated Who knew? square. See, you, I'll tell you what, if you fall down as much as I do, <laughs> this is when you, you can observe these kind of things, right? Seriously, I'm honestly, I'm just cluing you in, okay? That's, that's how my biggest discoveries are made sometimes. We'll stay right there for yours. And again, if you manage to get our today's special or any of the matching pieces, congratulations. Yeah, I'm so happy everybody gets this. And they're enjoying it. This it just makes it just makes my heart just swim. Well, uh, it's it, it, it's a lot of work, I know, and it's incredibly rewarding to see it. Now, Jay's with us till two. Uh, a lot of folks I know might be getting tired. It is late at night. I wanted, I asked if we could show you two of our mega star items for the 1 a.m. hour, and they agreed, but they're only a quick snapshot. If you would like to order our showstopper, you can pre-order it right, and look at this. You can pre-order it right now. This is Butterfly Chalcedony. It is brand new. Jake, give, give us 20 seconds on this. Okay, this is a brand new mind find. Um, it, it, this is just a, amazing, amazing material. It's got an amazing story. Here again, world launch. Uh, I, you know, like if you, when I was in Tucson this year, I saw a couple of people that had some specimens, and that was it. I mean, uh, as far as I know, we we got this last year. Here again, wow. from the miner. This year, they didn't even have. They they had a handful of cabochons that they had cut, and that was it, and some specimens. That was it, they had no rough. If you'd like to pre-order the Butterfly Cal 70, 36 and a half inches, it is available. I do want to show you this next one as well. If you love pink, if you love shades of pink, if you want something really attractive, look at the stunning Australian pink opal. This will not air until late, until about 1.45 in the next hour. We have about 500 to go around. Jay, give us, give us 20 seconds on this. Okay, as far as I know, we're the only ones that, right now, that have this material in the United States, okay? Um, you know, Glenn the miner, uh, we, you know, he's a great friend. We've known him for years and years and years. I mean, as my wife says, donkey's years. See, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's an English statement, right? She always says, <laughs> said it in American, they yeah, donkey. Donkey's years? Donkey's years, yeah, that's what my wife says. I've had that for donkey's years. <laughs> and, and so, um, you know, we've been doing business with Glenn for donkey's years. And what's really amazing is that this is, a, there's only two pink opals that I'm aware of in the entire world. One came from Peru, and this is the Australian. Stay right there for yours. We are now nearly 50% completely sold out for the entire day. Over 4,000 now uh, spoken for. If you want the small medium, we're taking last calls on both. If you are a small medium, last call. Guys, one other quick thing. At 1.25 Eastern time, an amber necklace special. You gotta tune in to see it. I'll see you after this. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN.
Computers, printers, cameras, fitness equipment, and even jewelry can be covered with a plan that offers repair or replacement should a failure occur. And portable electronics have accidental damage from handling, which covers unintentional mishaps like everyday drops, spills, and cracked screens. It's easy to add when you are checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. Love shopping? Now there's more to love than ever when you shop HSN and QVC. More brands, more savings, more fun. Like a chance to win $100,000. To celebrate, we're offering four or more flex pay on everything during our More to Love weekend. All day today on HSN and QVC. I'm Joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. It's our Tucson Gem event here on HSN. A very good evening. We're welcoming on in our wonderful HSN friends and family and, of course, QBC members as well with our More to Love event. Um, we have a lot going on uh, throughout the course of the event, especially on hsn.com with our community page. Ask the expert. Our very own Lamar Scott is on there. Um, he's talking about different gemstones, answering your questions, giving great advice as well. So let's move on with more wonderful gemstone discoveries. It all starts now. They did a beautiful job, didn't they, Jay, with all the videos and everything? You know, they really put all, um, so much effort. It's, it's a big, big, uh, everybody realizes it just doesn't, um, as my, the person who uh, run, more or less runs my business because <laughs> I can't do it. Um, <laughs> she, one of her famous sayings, she goes, the milk just didn't magically appear right, on the shelf. Right, right, and, right. and it's because if you could just realize all of everything that goes in to, to doing everything, not only making the materials, but everything that they, the, the HSN does to actually bring this to fruition. It's, it's really so much work, and there are so many great people here. And we want to really give them just a, a, a huge thank you for everything they've done to really help bring these stories to life. With that in mind, two quick things. Guys, we're getting questions about what I said. At 1.35 a.m., I absolutely am forbidden to show it in this hour. If it was up to me, I'd show it right now. We, at 1.35 a.m., we're spending 60 seconds on an amber necklace that's been done at a, and trust me, it's gorgeous. It's been done at a special price. Um, you, please be there. If you're a fan of Amber, 1.35 a.m., it will be worth it. Jay, let's talk about this discovery, though. Okay, again, um, so we're celebrating Tucson, right? The largest gym event, rough event uh, in the world. Right. There is nothing bigger than this. I've been going for over 40 years, and it's been going for, somebody told me the other day, 60 years, but that was before my time, okay? But I've been going for over 40 years. And has it grown every year? Um, it's, you never, okay, in, okay, in 40 plus years that I've been going, yeah. I've never seen it all. No, it's that big? It's not, it, you know, it's not the Tucson Gem Event one show, right? There's as many as 80 to 100 that are advertised, and you probably have that many more that are private. Wow. So wow. you just never can see it, but it's the largest gathering of its type in the world. You'll never see anything bigger, and it only happens um, in February, uh, end of January, February every year. This is something we found last year. Again, we've done, this is fossil 
uh, uh, a coral. So this is actually 30 to 50 million years old. Oh my God. This is actual a fossil. Okay, this is a fossil, and these are, um, everybody buys like specimens from yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. So what we've done is we've done a specimen for you that you can wear. 150 only for the entire country. Don't forget you can save up to 30% off and get four flexible payments. And those are brand new. We've never done those ever before. You're getting to see it first time release. It's a statement piece. You wear that and it's so long, of course. It really brings people uh, and draws the attention. Stunning. Let's talk about this. I actually asked Jay about this in the green room. <laughs> um, Jay, do you want to share the story about the opal, the, the confetti opal? Okay, confetti opal. I now, love you, this. You have to understand, okay, I. I used to spend a lot of time in Australia. Right. Okay, I, I have my Australian uh, pilot's license, my right. add-on, right? We used to, to go, we'd rent. Um, if you've ever driven in Australia to places I go, um, you'll understand why you would want to fly a plane. Now, when you, um, you're in the middle of nowhere, okay? And we, we, at that time, we were going into all the opal mines and stuff all over Australia in the outback. Um, this particular time, we were actually driving. We had, we had landed, and we were driving around. And when you're in the outback, here's the thing. Anytime you see fuel for sale, you buy it, okay? <laughs> Whether you, you need it or not. If you don't, I, I, I don't care if you're down five gallons. Right. You top off. It might be 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers before you ever even see somebody that even, and when you get there, a lot of times they might not even have fuel, right? right? So um, uh, we were at this little, um, it's a, what they call a station. They have a, usually they have a windmill, a bore, water. That's why it's there. And they'll have one pump of gas and they'll have another pump that's diesel. Right. They'll have a pub, which is very important, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and they'll have, they'll have like maybe a, a dining, like, you know, like a small, th you know, thing where they cook. They'll have like a, a not a grocery store, but they'll, they'll have simple things, not even bread. Everything's canned or whatever. It's got, a, you know, it's longevity, mm. right? <clears throat> then... <clears throat> Um, uh, but that everybody, the key thing is everybody gathers at the pub, right, right? Right, So we were fueling up and then fueling up at the pub. Right. And so <laughs> these, these guys... It's a win-win. It was a win-win. When we pulled in, uh, there's, these guys, they had this Land Rover. And on, on this Land Rover, on the top of the Land Rover, they had a sat dish. I mean, I'm talking like a sat dish, right, on top of the Land Rover. And then on the front of it, they had these two bars that were connected that had metal detectors... And these, actually, they fanned out. They went down on both sides. And then they had a seat up there, like Atari, like John Wayne and Atari. <laughs> yes. They had a seat. And so these guys, we got to talking to them. And this is what I love about the Outback. I mean, it's just so fascinating. One of them, I, I don't want to misspeak. I know one of them was a lawyer. The other one was either an engineer or a doctor. I right. can't remember which now. But they, they both, for their holiday, what they did is they went out and they, um, they were gold miners. So they would drive in that sat dish on top of that Land Rover, they would run a grid. So they had a GPS map, the guy had a map in here, and he had grid coordinates. And so he would drive, his partner would sit on the front, on the, on the seat on the front right. of the bumper, and these things are down on both <laughs> sides of metal detectors. And gold, I mean, these are specific metal detectors because gold, pure gold won't detect. Wow. It only takes a, it takes a really sophisticated equipment. And they would drive along, as if it would beep, the guy would get off, he would stop, right. he would get off, he would take his shovel and his, like, his sifter net, pour it in there. These guys had a sack, I'm talking like a sack, of gold nuggets. No way. Big old gold nuggets like that, flats, nuggets, and they did this as a hobby. We got to talking with them, and they said, look what we found, <laughs> and this was it. <laughs> and they said, we don't know what it is at all, and so anyway... Uh, over the process, I took a sample, I got a brack, I uh, brought it in and tested it. It's an opal. It's confetti opal. We named it confetti opal because um, it looks like after a parade, right? It does. Where everybody just threw up, you know, the confetti, and that's why we call it confetti opal. As far as I know, I don't know anybody else. We, it, this was a surface deposit. These guys didn't mine it, but they put together the deal where they got somebody to go in and mine it, and it was kind of like a cooperative. Uh, this is the only confetti el elpo in the world that I am aware of, okay? But here again, Brent, it's a mine find that we did find. We've had this for a couple of years, but we found it uh, when this material that we have is gone. And this is really kind of like down to the last of the last of the material I have. But uh, what I love about it is the coloration of this. Yeah. And look at this, all the 
And this is all natural, and this is a natural opal. We haven't done anything to this. It's a There's no treatment to it. It's just amazing. Everyone is uniquely different in his own right. But if you're that opal collector, if you're that opal person, or if you just like something, if you like to have something that nobody else has, right. which is really kind of me, you know. Right. right. And my, you know, if you if you could come to my wife. If you, if you could invite, if we could invite you into our home one of these times, you'll see, we like things that are unique and different, right? right? And we, we like to have things that not everybody has that, you know, because, I mean, really, you know, that's, that's kind of the cool thing right. is having something that nobody else has or that they're very rare or that you really can't find them. And this material is one of those things. And this is kind of what I live for. But literally, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Now, <coughs> you have to understand, I'm so far in the middle of nowhere <laughs> they would have to mail you day daylight. Okay, there isn't a hotel, right? You're camping out, okay? Oh, my God. And if you're not a camper, and here's the thing with Australia, okay? Everything bites <laughs> or stinks <laughs> or whatever. In, in Australia, when you get up in the morning, you shake out your cowboy boots, oh okay, before you put them on. Um, when you go, to, when you put the bedroll at night and you lay down, um, if you can zip it up, you zip it up because you never know what's going to be sleeping sleeping with you. You, you sure check everything. You shake everything out because I, I have to tell you, you know, like in Australia, think about this. Of the 12 most venomous snakes in the world, Australia has 10. Does it really? 10. 10. <gasps> have you ever had any nasty surprises? Uh, oh, I've had a lot of nasty surprises. Oh, yeah. I mean, but they're not just everywhere. You know, I don't want to panic everybody. When you go to Australia, you know, when you're in the outback. You're, you know, the thing is, is... They don't want anything to do with you, and you don't right. want anything to do with right, them. Right. But unfortunately, sometimes you meet, you know, in the in the weirdest of places, you right. know. But um, yeah, Australia is so interesting. I used to always tell everybody, like, if I ever go on the lamb, look for me in the Australia outback. <laughs> That's so where you'll be. Yeah, it's Stay amazing, right and this is the kind of things that makes this amazing. Enjoy is it. that you find things like this. If you'd like the matching earrings, they are available as well. Flex pay, of course, uh, thirteen dollars and ninety eight cents, sixty nine ninety at two son event price. Do leave a review when you get these home. And if you're a fan of Jay, don't forget to check out hsn.com to see absolutely everything in his assortment. There is a lot going on for the big event today. Lots of brand new discoveries uh, to discover. Not forgetting, at 1.35 a.m. sharp, we will do a 60 second special. It will be one minute, and that is it, on an amber necklace that is dramatic, tremendous, magnificent, and truly one of a kind. That's at 135. All right, let's keep going. Next up on our Tucson Gem Discovery, we've packed our bags and gone this time to search out, seek out blue lace agate with a beautiful, uh, uh, also lapis bead in an 18 inch necklace. There was a lot about this backstage. This is actually our producer Allison's favorite piece and she has a good eye for jewelry. This really stood out to her. Um, and Jay, you brought some rough for this. Okay, and this is, this is how it all starts, guys. And what makes this so unique and so different, okay, this isn't blue lace agate, okay? This is blue agate. Um, I found this in Malawi. Uh, I don't know of anybody else that has this material. He, didn't, he can't even get any more material. I went to Malawi which is another story um, in itself. I mean, if you if you uh, go to Africa, look at Malawi. Most people have never heard of it. Right. Um, and he's um, he's actually, which is really strange. He's a tobacco farmer huh. that doesn't smoke. He's anti-smoking. He's a tobacco farmer that doesn't smoke. And he's anti-smoking. <laughs> he's a tobacco farmer. Something doesn't make sense there, trade. Jay. I know. And on the side, he mines. And so he mined sapphire, and that's why I went there. A friend of mine, um, who I get tanzanite and a lot of different rough materials from, right. uh, introduced us. Uh, he said, look, I've got this friend, and he's got the sapphire. So I went, and they have blue sapphire, the Malawi sapphire that you've seen on. This, uh, that's, that's where we, we found it. In his warehouse, he had this material. Um, he didn't know it was an agate. I thought, to tell you the truth, I thought this was blue chalcedony. Because ah. it, uh, it looks a lot like blue chalcedony. I'd never, the only blue agate I've really seen that's this color is a blue lace agate. Right. But this didn't have really a lot of lacing to it. It's just more blue. It does have a little banding, but not really lacing. Um, and I thought, this is blue uh, chalcedony. The only time I've really seen blue chalcedony, I've seen it in several places, but the only time I've ever commercially seen it is in Turkey is where, you know, where I've seen it before. But you really have to watch because it's hydrated, it'll turn colors on you. This material, when we got it back, we tested it, we found it was an agate, but when I was there, I said, okay, we'll make a deal since we were putting a container together and I bought everything. Wow. So we bought all the material that I 
I am aware of and that he is aware of that was ever mined in this material. And this is how it originally looks. Now, this is a fairly big piece that you can see here, but this is where it all starts. This is the natural material, okay? And this eventually, I'll carve it a little bit and polish it, right. and this will go into my specimen case. Wow. But when this material's gone, it's gone. It's not like he's mining anymore, or there's not even any more really to be mined, okay? He's, uh, this was a very small, he was mining the sapphire, and when they were mining the sapphire, one of the layers that they, the overburden they broke through was this material. And so he didn't even know what it was, but he thought, that's cool. And it's so if you think about that, he thought it was so cool that we'll just go ahead and collect it. We'll keep it, right? But he had no idea. And there was just, there was like six barrels of this material, right. and that's it. So, so six barrels, each barrel is about 300 pounds, so there's about 1,800 pounds of material. My so, God. And so we've cut this. It takes about three pounds of material just to cut one necklace. And I was thinking, okay, what can I combine with this yes. to really kind of accent it or get, kind of give it an, you know, that, you know, to make it stand out, give it a different look. And so I used really super high grade lapis. So you've got these contrasts of blues here. You've got kind of the light blue, uh, real subtle blue of the blue agate. And you've got that beautiful high dark blue, triple A grade uh, lapis uh, uh, material, triple A, double A grade, high, high uh, blue with um, just, you know, some of the, the top quality lapis. And here again, though, they're just accent pieces. It's just to break it up, you know, to kind of give it a little contrast. It's just beautiful. And I think for everybody that's looking for something, as you said, special, distinctive, but the hues of blue, the blues, the icy blues, the deep right. blues, the lapis. Well, even on this, okay, think about this, okay? This isn't something that we could even do a Today Special on. Mm. You won't have the material. When this material's gone, and, and I, I have a, an office right now, and I've, you know, I've been collecting specimens, you know, like, um, you know how people hoard stuff? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm an organized hoarder. Okay? <laughs> I can't even imagine how much you have, Jay. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, catalog everything right now and I'm putting out these specimens and I literally have thousands. It's really sad, it's sick. <laughs> but what is amazing though to me and really, you know, when you do this for a living, you forget, you know, I, you know, I go on and then as I'm doing this, I go, oh my gosh, you can't get that anymore. Right, right, right. It's no longer available. Right. Uh, you know, and it's not only turquoises, it's all the different things that I've had over my career that um, that were so cool that people loved and we did so well with. Rainbow Cal Silica is a perfect mm. example. Mm. I have one specimen, one. Just one. Now it's a cool specimen. Right. <laughs> it's probably the coolest specimen that you'll ever see, right. but it's the only piece that I have on that. And that's just one. Literally out of thousands and thousands of specimens I have, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of those specimens that the material is no longer available. And that's what's cool about something like this. You are buying something that nobody else has. I don't know of anybody else that's actually ever shown this material. Uh, there is no more material as far as I know. Well, I, um, I'm thrilled that the response has been so fantastic to it. Again, you're seeing it here First. first time. Yeah, first time. That's what the show is all about tonight. Uh, we are scratching the surface of what's available. I want to show you this. Jay, this, um, you've presented this before, right? One time before. What makes this so unique is I hope everybody loves this because I'd like to go to Tahiti. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I could write it off. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually with you. I'm actually Research. I, I love this design, but I would be willing to, to play some well-placed bribes just for people to love this because uh, now a friend of mine actually turned me on to this. Who's uh, He's probably the largest shell dealer in the world, okay? okay. He goes, uh, he, it, what I do in turquoise, he does in shell, oh. right? So he travels the world and he specializes in shell. This is a very special, uh, the, the black material is a very special um, uh, black shell or it's a, it, it's a, a I, I don't, I think it's a mollusk, I don't think it's an oyster, and th but this comes from Tahiti. One of the only things that that I've ever had from Tahiti. And what I've done with this when I designed it, I've accented it. This is a uh, spiny oyster right. from the Sea of Cortez. You've got red or orange spiny with the black lip shell from Tahiti. Very unique, very different. And like I said, I mean, you know, this is something. And then um, the event price, okay. Now, I know what I paid for this material because I know <laughs> what I bought the shell for. Okay, so I know what my cost is, okay. and. 
for us to do this, you have to understand we work on a very, very small margin, right? Just so that we can, we because we want you to have experience. The biggest thing is not that only it's cool, but we want a value. Okay, for us, it was gonna be originally $119, mm -hmm. almost 120. At that price, we, we penciled a lot, very thin to do that. So to sell it for this price, it's just crazy. We'll come back to that, I promise. There's a lot of people ordering that right now. It is a four and a half star customer pick. Um, indeed, we've had a lot of questions about this gemstone globe. Jay mentioned that he used to be in the gemstone globe business. $1,200 for something similar. And Jay, you know, I featured your globes a couple times on the Monday night show because back in England, we used to present the gemstone globes. I had one that I had to leave behind because I couldn't put it in the suitcase. You couldn't do it. It was a bit heavy. But this, for $99? Well, okay, now everybody understand, I didn't make this, mm -hmm. okay? This is not my product. So I'm just talking to it. 22 years ago, or maybe even longer, I mean, I'm that old that I, only, I can't even tell you anymore. We came up with these globes, and we were making these when we had all the gemstone rough and everything, and we were doing these uh, like this. This particular size that we did with our, our rough material, initially when we used to make these, Something like this would sell for $1,200. Now, that wasn't $1,200 retail. Mm -hmm. That was $1,200 wholesale. There you go. Right? Wholesale. So this is beyond crazy. I don't even know how you would even do this. Um, it's definitely not a profit deal, I guarantee you this. Now, I will tell you, you, you know, I told you, I'd love to welcome you into my home. If you could come to my house, you will see I have one of these in my office, right, right in lapis, that the sea is all lapis yeah. and then turquoise and everything, but it's one of the ones that I made back, back in the day that I kept. And it's, it's really funny you mentioned that because literally, I, if, it, if that globe could talk, it's not only a world travel, but it's traveled yeah. all over. Yeah. But it's one of my, my possessions that I take everywhere with me. It's special. It, it's uh, very unique, very special. Everybody that comes to my office always goes to it. It's an heirloom piece, and, and obviously you feel the same way as we do. At $99, it's a crazy good opportunity. Um, you know, Lamar Scott is online, and he's answering questions. How would you pair your favorite gemstones from the Tucson Gem event? If you've got any questions to ask our gem expert, you can always check it out on our community page online. Uh, we've had a lot of people getting involved. Let me see if I can just grab one right here. Um, uh, um, Linda says she'd love to pair turquoise with lapis and fire opal. That okay. would be good. That would be a good that one. That burst of color with the fire opal. Yeah, they, they would actually all blend together. Yeah. Um, and also, Lamar was talking about rose quartz. There's some rose quartz at Tucson this year, a lot of rose quartz. Do you know what my son, when he was really little, um, uh, I'll never forget this, you know, things stick in your mind. Right. And um, my son, you know, who grew up, you know, grew, grew up with gemstones, but he, um, when I, we were doing um, rose quartz one time, he goes, it's the love stone. That's how he said, it's the love stone. And that's true. You know, rose quartz, um, you know, it's been around forever and ever, but it's, it's a natural colored quartz, which is the same as amethyst. Right. The same as citrine. Right. The same as, same as peridot, right? They're all colored quartzes. So uh, the love and that's really stone. cool. It's the, no, you got to say it right. The love stone. <laughs> <laughs> well, something else that you will love, I've no doubt, just quickly to introduce this, our 36-inch lapis bead necklace while supplies last. Um, you know, it, our hours, just so you know how the day is going to go today, we have brand new discoveries, and then we have returning favorites at really remarkable prices. So this is one of those. We only have 300 available, and that is it. Um, it it's down from 180 to 129. It is a 36-inch, so again, three feet of the most amazing lapis just two minutes on it if you'd like to order it please grab the phone right now Wanda in South Carolina Wanda welcome to the show you're live on HSN say hi to Jay hello Jay hey how you doing hey Adam hey Wanda how are you I love your show on Monday night and I love Jay King's show oh that you wonder you say all the right things <laughs> <laughs> do you have oh, any of jay's I'm, pieces I'm, I'm not trying to flatter you i am just being truthful oh um, that's well, thank wonderful you. thank Very you Wanda. First, um stone i ever owned was a um it was a turquoise and i ordered it from jay king and i watched the program religiously when he's on because i love geomology i love the stories the details yes and it is just so great. 
to listen to it and to hear where it came from. And I ordered the blue agate with right. the um, lapis in it because I have some lapis earrings, and I plan on wearing those together. But I never wear anything of yours that I do not have someone say, where did you get that? Because it is just so unique. And I love your um, stories. They really are funny. They make me laugh. And I think um, I'm living vicariously through you because I'm disabled. Oh. But in another life, I would probably would love to be a rock hound. <laughs> well, you know, that, that's Wanda. great. And, you know, and I'm... You know, that, that means so much, and, you know, like, I, I can't tell you how much that means because, you know, it, it's really amazing is um, to let everybody know that, you know, this is where it starts. You yeah. know, it starts yeah. starts with a rough material, but that's cool. And, you know, I hear that all the time is mm -hmm. people see it and they go, oh, my gosh, where'd you get that? Right. Yeah. Wanda, your words mean a thank lot to Jay. Thank you so much, Wanda, for taking time. time. Oh, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we, we have a couple of uh, 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 .com items which we're not airing tonight, but it's worth seeing. There's three dozen of them. It's $169.90, five flexible payments, Sonoran Blue Turquoise. Remember, calling all Amber fans. Many of you know Amber is my favorite gemstone. One thirty-five. We are 39 minutes away right now from a one, one minute. It's going to be fast, but I'm going to show you with Jay a Jay King necklace that will knock your socks off. At any price, it would be attractive, but when we reveal the price, oh, you're gonna love it. Jay, before we do our encore of our today's special, can we talk about Azure, is it Azure Peaks? Azure. Azure. No, but you're British, you could say Azure. Can I get away no, with you that? No, you could actually get away with that. And um, yeah, it, but yeah, that's probably, you know, that's probably the correct pronunciation. I, I, it really is. I, I'm not, I'm not messing with you okay. like I normally do. Okay. But, no, I, but yeah, I it's, but no, that is, that is, as the, the, as would be the Queen's English. Uh, Azure is the American uh, pronunciation of it, but yeah, Azure Peaks. And you know, we actually named it that, um, just for the fact that, um, you know, the coloration of it, just an amazing, amazing material. We only have about two or three minutes here, but it's absolutely a beautiful selection. 20 inch necklace. This appraised at $275. Um, the color here is, it really is breathtaking. And obviously Jay, for, for many folks, and tonight we've seen a lot of this, we've had a lot of people tuning in who may have never ever have seen you before. I mean, maybe this is their first introduction. A lot of our QVC uh, family who are discovering us. Jay, where did, where did your love affair begin with any gemstone, let alone turquoise? Well, you know, it's it's really amazing how you end up, um, you know, I've always had an affinity for rough. Yeah. Um, I think what makes us different for people who haven't shopped with us that don't know the story, you know, what, what makes us different, kind of separates us from everybody else, is we have a what I call a super niche business. Right. It's We, we have a completely super niche business. We go directly to the miner and we buy directly from the mine, from the ground. Um, the furthest I get away from it is maybe we have a consolidator. Right. I can't be, like, I can't go to the Hindu Kush region of Afghanistan and buy lapis. Right. Like, it just doesn't work out. <laughs> okay. It's not, not a longevity deal. So, you know, maybe we'll have a consolidator. So maybe there's one person. We do all the designing in-house. We do all the lapidary work in-house by our artists. We do all the silver work in-house. We also... Uh, our old school on not all of our silver work, but the majority of it is all done from uh, custom made sterling silver sheet material. But one of the things, my first love, I grew up in the Southwest, okay? I grew up in New Mexico. Um, um, I grew up with turquoise. Right. Turquoise was my, my first love. My, you know, it was uh, the very first um, necklace I ever cut, the very first thing I ever did was turquoise. Wow. And it's, it's continued from that. Now, I will tell you this with turquoise, the history of turquoise. Um, one of the biggest things to overcome as a young uh, salesman, a young designer, was the fact every time they hear you're from New Mexico, they <laughs> assumed you were, all you did was Native American handcrafted, right? Right. And at that time, everybody associated uh, turquoise with that. Sure. But turquoise is a worldwide phenomenal now. You're seeing people wearing turquoise in countries that you would never, in my lifetime, you would never imagine. This is something that, the you know, and I, I owe it all to a lot of the high-end designers, mm. you know, the people, uh, you know, that, that are putting things out, you know, out there in a way that I could never do it. Right. And, and they, now turquoise is a staple. 
But the turquoise that is, now I don't want to take away anything from any turquoises, all the different varieties, right. but what's in world demand right now are these blues. Mm. These robin egg blues, these clearer blues, blues with a light matrix like this. Right. The clarity, do you, do you realize to do this, um, just because of, of the, the way that we work, right, where we're buying Mind Direct, right. you don't see beaded necklaces and turquoise mm. like this. If you do see them, in a lot of cases, I gotta be honest with you, if you see them out there, you gotta really be careful because there's a lot of faux stuff, a lot of fake. I believe it. Okay, and I, I tell you, I just had a friend of mine who is very knowledgeable and he just got duped. <gasps> he just got duped and it was so good. It was, it was such a good job that they tell. did that, well, when it went to the lab, they tested it and it came back and it, it was, uh, it was uh, enhanced dolomite. Wow. But they had done such a good job that, and if you looked at I gotta tell you, when I looked at it, I thought, I thought it was turquoise. Right. But when you sniffed it, usually you could tell, but it wasn't white inside yeah, it. They had yeah. gone all the way through with it. But when it came back, um, from a GIA, it was uh, it was dolomite. That's why it's so important to buy from places and people that you trust, which is why we're so proud to have Jay King here with HSM. Well, it is time to reveal, if you didn't see it at midnight, the amazing Best Buy. Of course, it's all part of our Tucson Gen event. This is the starting point for us in a lot of ways because we meet miners. Maybe we'll see a single specimen and then we go to their mine. You know, we go